friends, we are at the Marwante beach, as you can see. Because of four laning highway, uh, you cannot see it from the road, you have to go across that side. Previously, we could see both the river and the sea when you would be driving down to this road. Beautiful, amazing seashore, beach, clean beach. Not a single soul except for one or two people out there. Um, it's, it's warm, not hot. The sun is right on the head, so you feel hot, but it is not hot actually. They are barnacles. They look like shells. Yeah, crabs. Oh, beautiful, na? The water is so clean. Fresh sugar cane juice available here as well as ice cream ka gadi. And we are having fresh sugar cane juice. No plastic zone to likha hai log. In logon ne sab khati ke idhar hi. Can you see uh, that house there? The uh, brown and or uh, black roof tiled house that was the only house here uh, for a number of years since we were traveling on this road and we would always say that this looks like a haunted house nobody is staying there it's a dilapidated uh, house and see if you can see from here they under the coconut tree that one so we used to say we should buy a, uh, buy this property and settle down here. Beautiful place surrounded by the coconut palm trees. There is a river on the other side. Previously we could see. Now because it is four lane, we can't see the river from this side. When you're driving the other side, we can see. And we used to always say ki we should buy that house, um, whatever the land and build a house there. It's beautiful. I see next to that house an entire um, township has come up. I like it's a lush green forest. Continue on Murudeshwar Temple Highway for one kilometer. So we have taken the turning to Murudeshwar uh, Temple Road. It's doing two minutes from here. It's two kilometers and it is 1.27. Our estimated time was supposed to be 1.15 but we stopped at Marwante Beach. Guys, we are at the Mudeshwar temple and there's a lot of crowd today, obviously Monday. So we just had darshan. We'll get back on the road after having lunch. Here I am at Mudeshwar, as you can see. Shabri Mala season time, so a lot of devotees coming. So guys, it is uh, 3 o'clock and we left Mudeshwar and we had lunch here itself we had a veg south indian thali uh, because it is so hot don't feel like eating much and uh, now we are on our way to gokarna which is roughly around uh, 77 kilometers from Murdeshwar. so this temple was very crowded today i mean I, all the temples are crowded Strangely, I don't know. Ah, maybe vacation time, that's why. So, so far my husband was driving. Now I have started driving and I will drive till Kokarna and beyond that, wherever we are planning to stop for the night. So, see you. Oh. Uh -huh. 
reached the temple. Uh, I am coming to Gokarna second time and I am coming after 29 years. In 1985, uh, I was here with a group. Uh, they had arranged uh, my bus uh, one week tour to Mahabaleshwar, Panchgani, Goa and Gokarna. So that was my first visit in 1985 to Gokarna and I really loved the Shiva temple and I was so fascinated by it. After that many a times we tried but it didn't happen. It's all like this. When it is just time, it has to happen, it will happen. So here I am after 29 years and hopefully I should be able to get a good darshan. Like I got the first time, it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, and there is something uh, uncanny about this. The first time I visited this temple, before that, I had dreamt of a Shiva statue and then Shiva Lingam and all that. And when I came here in '85, I found the exact kind of thing, deja vu. I got a feeling of deja vu. So I hope in 29 years nothing much has changed. Of course, uh, development do happen, but the basic temple premises. It reminded me of uh, you know the Malgudi days thing. Honestly, we used to watch Malgudi days uh, series. I guess that was the only one those time coming on TV. And when I visited this Kokarna town, it was absolutely similar to the Malgudi days. Probably I think it was shot here. I'm not sure about it. So let us see whether anything has changed here in this town. So far everything looks very pretty and beautiful. Uh, and <coughs> let us check out how it is. So we are walking towards the Mahabaleshwar temple in Gokarna. Like I said, not much has changed. Only thing is the crowd has increased. The number of shops has definitely increased. Those days, hardly few shops selling flowers and garlands. Now you have shops selling all kind of things. So that's the entrance to the temple. Beautiful cow. One side mountain and the other side river. We left Gokarna and we are on our way to Hubli. This is 6 11 in the evening and it is already so dark. Uh, we started from Gokarna. shorter from here but tomorrow it will be a problem because we were planning to do Kolapur also so we decided that we need to get back to Hubli from Hubli it is only three hours drive to Kolapur whereas from Karwar it is six and a half hours drive so we thought let us come to Hubli and cancel the Karwar trip though we would have reached Karwar earlier reached uh, Hubli, the change of plan, initially we had decided that after Udupi and after visiting Udupi temple, Sri Krishna temple, Murdeshwar, Mahabaleshwar, uh, sorry Murdeshwar temple and then Gokarna Mahabaleshwar temple, we will move on to uh, Karwar and stay for the night there. But uh, last minute we changed the plan and we drove down to Hubli. Uh, because tomorrow I'm planning Kolhapur and not only that um, from here to Kolhapur the drive is only three and a half hours today we drove for almost 380 kilometers and odd a little more one or two kilometers and we drove for 11 hours with uh, all the breaks that is including visiting Sri Krishna temple in Nodipi uh, Mudeshwar temple and Gokarna temple and lunch uh, I couldn't uh, 
you know shoot the lunch thing and all because it was very hot and i am already running a fever i think uh, been on anti crocin uh, from yesterday night so and it was very very hot everywhere and very crowded also very crowded i think diwali is on the right time to visit temples because everybody is having school and college vacations so the entire family drives around with lot of buses private buses public buses so it was very crowded as well and it was very very hot and uh, so after gokarna uh, we drove down to hubli which was roughly 3 and 1/2 hours drive and we are really tired and as usual we always share the driving uh, duration like if i drive for 6 hours he will drive my husband will drive for 6 hours and if we drive for 10 hours then we do 5 hours 5 hours each so that none of us get too tired and we can concentrate better on the road afternoon we had only thali for lunch simple vegetarian thali and uh, since i wasn't feeling good and i didn't want to eat anything exotic and uh, now we will have a shower we checked into the hotel room same hotel room like last time when we stayed at hubli and it's a very nice hotel is a, a newly made hotel very uh, spacious and uh, uh, i would definitely recommend to anyone who is coming here of course this is not promotion or anything but i seriously love this hotel better than i would say itc fortune of course itc fortune the rooms are spacious but service wise and everything i found this hotel better than uh, grand it is uh, bangalore airport road hubli eh? so it is easy for us to step out tomorrow morning uh, to reach the highway so that uh, we can reach kolapur that is a plan for now but i don't know my status tomorrow by god's grace i hope i feel better tomorrow so that uh, we carry on with our original plan of visiting kolapur mahalakshmi temple also strangely this was not planned uh, we had gone only to mangalore for a wedding and we decided we'll cover up mangalore whenever we have free days because it was a four day event of the wedding and uh, since we were going by road we decided why not do this also because we have passed uh, mudeshwar temple so many times but we have never gone inside of course gokarna you will come to know what i said in my vlog and mahalakshmi temple we have been couple of times but uh, uh, it was on my wish list this year i should go so looks like this year is all about visiting religious shrines whether it is church or temple uh, feel blessed i mean it's good so guys we will just have a shower and have something light dinner and crash out for the night catch up with you tomorrow morning good night friends thank you so much much love to all of you sandy signing off Hey friends thank you so much for all your love and support hope you all are enjoying my videos on this series there's more to come please do like share subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell for more interesting videos and thank you very much stay healthy and happy always bye sandy signing off